Hello, Alta Figueroa here. Now what I want to do, we're still working with our scene. I want to now explore working with the spotlight. I'm going to hide the previous light that I had selected. I'm going to select it, Control H. And now let's go into the spotlight option box. With the spotlight, we have a little bit more controls. Uh, intensity is going to be set to 1. Color is white. We have a couple of options down here that we're going to explore once we create it. And yes, I want it to cast shadows. And I'm going to go ahead and tell it to create. So with this site right here, uh, with this control, I want to introduce a new tool that we have. Uh, with the spotlight, it would be easier if we're able to control the placement of the light and where it's pointing. So instead of using the move tool, I want to use what's called the Show Manipulator tool. This is pressing T, uh, T as in Tom, on your keyboard. And notice that we have these two controls. So one controls the placement of where the light is at, and the other one is pointing where the light is uh, aiming at. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom out. And so think of this, it's a spotlight. So right now I have this light right here. I'm going to go ahead and move it to the side. Let's go ahead and zoom in. And let's go ahead and render it out. See what we get. So our settings are still set to Maya software. And I told Maya software to use ray tracing, but this light, I did not tell it to use ray tracing, uh, ray trace shadows. So we're going to turn that on with my spotlight selected. Let me show you a different way. Instead of using the attribute editor in the channel box, you can see that under the shapes, we have the spotlight selected under shapes. If I scroll down here, we have either ray trace shadows turned off or depth map shadows, which is turned on. In this case, I actually want ray trace shadows on. So this is binary. I could either type the word on or I could use zero for off, one for on. I'm going to type in one, return. Since I turned on ray tracing, it automatically turns off depth map shadows. So let's go ahead and re-render. And now you can see that we get these nice, sharp uh, shadows around your spheres. What I want to go over right here, a couple of options. We have the cone angle, which is actually how wide or narrow the co your light is. Uh, the penumbra, uh, which is how sharp it is. Right now it's set to zero. And so, for example, uh, let's let's change the cone angle size, but let's try something else as well. I'm going to, within the render view, I'm going to turn on this button, the IPR, Interactive uh, Photorealistic Renderer. With this turned on, notice we don't get our shadows, but I'm able to, as I scroll down right here, let's see, is it working? Oh, it's not updating. Okay, never mind that. I'm just going to go ahead and render this so you can see how it's getting smaller as I'm changing the penumbra angle. I'm going to click right here the name, the, co the cone angle, excuse me, move my cursor and middle mouse click, drag it left to right. And you can see how it's getting larger or smaller. What's not hap what the one thing that's not happening, and here let me just zoom out so you can see. I am selecting the word cone angle, move my cursor in my perspective window, press and hold down the middle mouse button, and you can see how it's making a, a larger or narrower uh, spotlight. So you can make this larger or smaller, and you can animate it over time as well. So I'm going to leave that at zero. The penumbra angle, let's go ahead and zoom in here. And with this, what that set to zero, it gives you a nice hard edge. But as you increase this value, you see how it either, if it goes negative, it's going, uh, it's getting smaller from the inside. If it goes larger, it's uh, it's spreading out on the outside. 
So say, for example, I want a slight softness around the edge. Let's go ahead and render this out to see what it looks like. And you can see that instead of having a harsh edge, it slowly has like a, a fade. What I also want to show uh, some of the fun options for this one. For this one, let me go ahead and set up this light. I'm going to select it. And I still have my show manipulator tool, T on your keyboard. What if I want this to create the idea of it having some sort of like atmosphere? Uh, what if like, I want the idea that it's kind of, when I say atmosphere, it, it has some sort of, uh, what if it's like, it's kind of uh, a little bit of like smoke or something similar to that? Let's go to the attribute editor with my spotlight selected. This too has light effects. Instead of adding a light fog here, I'm sorry, a light glow, which we did with the point light, I want to add a light fog. I'm going to go ahead and click on this little checker box, which is a creating a render node. So we're plugging something in here. And now let's go ahead and render it out for right now. You see this cone? That is our light fog. And notice we get something like this, but it stops because it doesn't go all the way to the edge. What we're able to do with the actual cone selected, I'm going to go to my scale tool and I could actually scale out. Let's go to the light fog here. Right, we could increase the shape of this cone. I'm going to have it go through the floor. It's going to clip the floor there. Let's go ahead and render it out. And now we have something like this. I want to bring down the uh, maybe the intensity right here. Let's go half. Let's go ahead and render it out again. So let's go ahead and now zoom in. and render. So now we have something that looks like this. Pretty cool. So this is working with the spotlight. Uh, one of the things that I also should mention is that I haven't been changing the color of my lights. So right now I've been using white. Granted, I haven't changed the different shaders, but if I want a slight tint, so say, for example, what if I want this to be a, a golden light? I'm going to select one of the, the hue. And let me go ahead and select a light right here. Let me just add just a slight tint. Now, if I go over here, it's adding light. I'm not coloring my objects. It's adding uh, a light that's being used instead of just uh, basic white light. I want to give it just a slight tint. If I render this out, now we have something that looks like this. Okay, this has been the spotlight. Uh, the next video, we're going to explore the area light. I'll see you in the next video.